started pulling up this little transition section and it is soaking wet under there. Soaking wet. Oh, doing nothing but holding water. Oh, what a tear. Oh, look at that. That's part of their problem. Look, their gutter right here was always pumping water when it leaked the mobile home. It was always pumping water behind it. So water would just go up underneath behind the gutter because they never sealed it off. What you have to do with these is cut the gutter right there before it goes underneath, cut it, open it up so that it's an open end gutter right there. And, that, and, and then seal that off and you won't have that water going back there. But that's what they did and that's nasty. So get rid of all that anyway. Step number one, install OSB or plywood with screws, not nails. Nails aren't gonna hold in, so two by twos. You don't use screws, you're screwed. Man over here cleaning up, getting ready for uh, application. There's a little nasty metal roof over here that, I wonder if we can leak them, you know? Good Lord, man, it's ridiculous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Every eight inches on the seams. Every six to eight, easily. Every rafter. Fill in the lines in the middle. All edges. Insulation board on top of that. All right, well, what we ran into here, I can't believe that this guy just put metal roof over this thing and thought it was never gonna leak again. Whoever did this was stupid, I'm telling you. Plywood situation's right here. We're gonna have Hey, Tony, how can we use so many screws in these plywoods? We lay on down the road when we get the rubber laid down, the insulation mat, and uh, nothing bows up. Or... We'll make sure it's all secure to the roof real good, yeah, right? Make sure it's all sticking good. So that's one reason why we use screws and not nails, too. Some nails can pop up, screws will never come up, right? right. That's right, buddy. Keep up the good work. You're literally looking good. Appreciate it. Up much of this, but this is what we found. They went over the top of. Starting the second stage here, which is the uh, insulation board. And we're just kind of tacking them down as we go along until everybody can come by me. Right now they're finishing screwing. I'm laying them down. We'll all come back and put all the screws in them. Look good, stage two.
fish board here because of this place. Not all of it, but some of it. Got big holes in it. I don't have to replace it all, but looks like a piece of 1x6 cedar. Yep, that's 1x6 cedar. Also have to replace a piece down here. Looks pretty good all the way down through there. A little six, six or eight foot piece there. Now cut me a piece for there. Replace all that. One day. There we are. Right?